Let's get this set up so we can run WordPress on our computers and make all of our edits and have a good time. Now, WordPress runs in the PHP environment. And PHP, when it was first developed, used to mean personal home page. Then they changed the name. Now PHP stands, stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. So, um, what happens with WordPress is, and, and with PHP, you have all these include files, and they're all PHP. And the, the PHP communicates with the database on the server. So PHP is what you call a, a middle language, and it lets the front end, where all your pictures and your structure of CSS and HTML, communicate with the back end, which is your database. So whenever you type anything into WordPress, whenever you put an image into WordPress, whenever you put a video into WordPress, a form into WordPress, what you're really doing is putting all of that text imagery and videos into a database. So, so as you set WordPress up, it's not like a static page where what you have on the front end, end is HTML, CSS, some images, some videos. It, that's a static page. You can open that in Dreamweaver. You can view it in Dreamweaver, no problem. But to make a WordPress document function the way it's going to function on GoDaddy, Bluehost, HostGator, wh whatever server you're going to use, that when you when you put WordPress up on one of those major servers and you're paying them money, they have PHP installed, they have database MySQL installed, and when you install WordPress there, they've got PHP running, the database is running, that's how it all functions. You're not set up like that on your computer, most of you right now. So we have to get it set up so it's ready to run. We're going to communicate to a database and make this thing live. Now, to set up your local server, which sounds kind of funny if you're new to this, but GoDaddy is a server, Hostway is a server, HostGator is a server, Bluehost is a server. And all a server is, is a little machine, just like your hard drive that you you may be looking at right now. And it's just a little machine with some memory and some software in it. So you can, you can have your own, you can be GoDaddy if you want to be. All you need is a machine, store people's stuff on it, be connected to the internet. You can charge people, you know, $3 a month. Go for it. But we need to set up our own server on your machine. If you're on a Mac, you set up a MAMP server. Um, with this title, I have s some links to some reliable sources. And if you follow the directions, then you can set up your MAMP server. If you're on a PC, you set up a WAMP server. There are other type of, types of servers that you can set up. Those are those are the most popular. I'm aware of those. If you find something else to set up to run a server on your machine, go for it. MAMP, WAMP, Mac, PC. The links are uh, with this title. Uh, they're in a uh, doc, in a document file. So, so now you get your MAMP, your WAMP set up. Um, you can test either one of those. A little window will pop open. Um, it'll say that you, you can now connect to my uh, my PHP admin. If you're on a map, little green lights will show up. Okay, yeah. so so you get get all that set up. Now it's time for your WordPress installation. All you have to do is just do a search WordPress. Download WordPress. You'll find it in a million places. You'll download a folder. And um, so you can do a regular WordPress installation. Just follow the instructions. I strongly suggest that you do a WordPress multi-site 
installation. It has many benefits, and it's not hard at all to do. If you're working on your own site, it, it behooves you to set up a multi-site because then you can create a couple of sites, your real site and then your mess around site. You can go into your mess around site and experiment, do some responsive stuff, do stuff that you, you really don't want anybody to see, but then when it works, you can put it on your real site. If you plan on doing many different uh, and literally, if you plan on having thousands of people that you're doing sites for, then you can literally create a thousand different sites and manage them independently and test them out before you upload it to the server for a client. So my suggestion is go with the WordPress multi-site installation or, of course, the regular WordPress installation will do just fine. Now, my suggestions are read the directions and follow them very, very slowly because some of the words mean exactly what they say. And if you're not reading carefully, if you've got five kids in your lap and the dog needs to go out, get rid of all those entities and read slowly, follow the directions slowly. I, I, uh, I stay away from even uh, trying to get people set up on the MAMP or in the WordPress or multi-site installation because people's computers are all set up a little bit different. And it just, it just, I'm telling you, it can be a headache. But once you get, once you get it all set up, you'll love what you can do with it. If you follow the directions carefully and slowly, you won't have any problems. You'll be very happy. Now, one of the major uh, challenges I've run into with clients in, in the setup process is the following. Um, what's going to happen on the MAMP or the WAMP when you install either of those, both of those installations are going to within the MAMP or WAMP folder, which will be created, there will be a folder in that folder called htdocs. And that's where you're going to put all of your WordPress files. Now, the problem that I have seen again and again and again is that many times people will stick the WordPress folder in the htdocs folder. And I, I'm sure you can configure that and da 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 but, but w I've run into problems with that with many different clients trying to get set up. What I know does work is what you do is in the WordPress folder, there's going to be all kinds of WordPress files. WP content, w WP config, index.php. There's going to be a list of about 20 to 30 files and folders, you want to pull all of those files and folders out of the WordPress document and stick them right into the htdocs folder. That's what you want to do before you go, before you start installing WordPress, before you start setting up your multi-site. If you do that, then things should run smoothly for you. So, go ahead and set up your MAMP, your WAMP, download WordPress, uh, put your files in the htdocs folder. Uh, you should be able to execute that. And when you get to the end of that process, and you can put in your WordPress password your WordPress ID, and when you click a button and you see the WordPress dashboard, you're good to go, and hopefully you're working with a WordPress multi-site.